Hello, my name is uh, Professor Brian Dolan and I'm the Director of Health Service 360 and also the creator of the NPJ Balancer Campaign and Last Thousand Days. And uh, Sarah McCrossan, lovely Sarah McCrossan, who's the Senior Transformation Manager at East Lanx NHS Trust, asked me to uh, say a few words to you and also to give a shout out to a couple of really great folk and their teams. So, Ward C11, uh, Marie. Uh, O'Neill, of which uh, where 49.5% of the patients, you had them up and dressed and mobilised for the campaign. The rehab ward with 75% Rakehead, Pack Grimshaw, and the community ward, which was Marzen Ward, led by the uh, ward manager Debbie Wilcox, where you had 70% to the nearest decibel point of all your patients up and dressed and mobilising. And I've just been looking at your data, and you've done something very different and very special in East Lanx. And what you've done is you've had the vast majority of your patients have been um, not just mobilised, but also dressed. And in many cases, it's been around the 85 to 90 percent of people who are, are mobilised have also got dressed. Whereas in East Langs, you've had 96 percent, 19 out of 20 patients are not just mobilising, which is the key thing to prevent de deconditioning, to improve their dignity and safety and all of those things, reduce falls, reduce pressure sores, ulcers. But what's fantastic is the way you have so many people who have also been dressed. That is sensational. And, you know, absolute credit to you. And, and, and you know, the people around East Langs, their family, their loved ones who come in will know that they'll see their mother or their father, many of whom are in their last thousand days, can see them dressed. And those are the memories that they will have of somebody who had their dignity, who had their personality. Because when you're in, in pyjamas or in a gown, really you're, you're reduced to a mosaic of detachable clinical conditions whereas when you're in your own clothes you're that person you've got a backstory you've got a, a history and um, you know the fact that you've had so many people dress is, is a tribute to you all but the fact that you've done so well and what's been really also fantastic over time is bit by bit month on month through April through May through June you're getting more and more people up which implies that what you're doing is embedding this practice of in getting people up dressed and moving we're going to keep the app going until uh, for another 30 days until the one well, now the 25 to 44 day 20 days today's the 6th of july until the 26th of july with a possibility we're looking at how we can fund it in order to continue this so you can see how you're going and you can now go online and see how at individual ward level how you have done and how others have done too because this is something i used to do as a student nurse we'd be terrified not to somehow we did stop doing it, who knows why, and now we're bringing that best of best of it back. And we're working with therapists who are fantastic people, physiotherapists and occupational therapists, they get this. This is their model of care and what we're now fostering is conversations between managers, between patients, between nurses, between therapists, between doctors. And what we're doing is enabling people to talk about the most important currency of all, which is patient time. Because while our time is busy and important, our patient's time is sacred. And you're from East Lancashire. That matters too. That matters greatly. Particularly in a, a less affluent part of the world where time, things can be particularly challenging. And, you know, family members getting to the hospital to visit loved ones, is, it's not as easy as it, as it might be in some places for all kinds of reasons. And in the end, the NPJ Paralysis campaign is about love. It's about people getting back to loved ones we will never meet, back to the place they call their home, to be with those loved ones. And that's why in the end it's about love, and that's the thing that matters most, is that enabling other people to be with those they care most about means that we can have do the right thing and make the easiest thing the right thing. And when it works for patients, it always, always works for staff too. So thank you, East Lancashire, for all your support. Thank you behind the scenes is Yvonne Skellen Foster, who's Sarah's uh, transformation assistant, who's been working with, uh, you know, behind the scenes, working, getting information, getting administration, getting data collection. She's worked for many, many years in community settings. Now it's an acute setting. And, and thank you to Yvonne for the part that you have played because making it easier for others as well. So thank you all, particular congratulations to you, Marie, to Pat and to 
and a Debbie for your leadership and we look forward to having more of you on this journey too. Thank you and have a fantastic day. Bye now.